But one of the biggest things that I think the general public, if you were to pull, they would never guess is that for a lot of these competitors and something that, you know, I really found fascinating when I started this podcast is that for so many of these competitors, posing is the hardest thing for them. I mean, it is harder than the nutrition. It's harder than the working out. I mean, there are so many things that people would think are, would be harder than posing. But for so many of these competitors, you know, posing is the the end all when it comes to, you know, just the toughness yes. that it can be. How has your experience been like with posing? Because I always say, you know, like you can be a great driver. You can never be a perfect driver. Same thing goes with posing. You can be a great poser. You can never be a perfect poser. It's always ever evolving. Posing is the hardest. Well, okay. It is one of the hardest because after you do it the first time, it obviously gets easier. Um, posing I can tell you straight out, and this is as honest as I can be to anybody. I have sweat more in the posing room than I have during for an hour than I have during my hardest intensity workouts. Posing takes – it's not just mental. It's breathing. It's balance. Women, you're in heels if you're doing figure big or bikini. Also, let's not mention, you're like 98% naked. Yep. So <laughs> posing – is it's a whole nother game and smiling and doing it in and trying to pose it is it's hard and i took i didn't even do group posing i did one-on-one -on -one posing so like if i messed up oh i got reamed out for it um my posing coach is amazing i love her she's sick um but it's it's hard it's no joke and if you're the first time going into it i'm not even kidding i'm the kind of person that i like to watch something i'll watch it two three times and i'll get it I must have watched 40 times and just couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, I just, I was so frustrated. I, I left mad because I couldn't, I'm like, what is the difference between the open class and, and the lineup? I, like, couldn't understand any of this. I had no idea. I mean, and I've watched shows. I've been to shows. And she's like, well, you have your individual routine and then you have your lineup routine. I'm like, what? Like, what's, what's the difference? I'm like, couldn't, couldn't wrap my head around this. Like, I... I mean it. I probably left so angry the first two times after posing class. I was like, I was ready to just throw in the towel. I was, like, I was like, fuck this. But it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it really, you're, you're almost, you're perfecting your craft. You're presenting yourself and people, yeah, you can go to the gym, have a hoodie up and do it. You can put in all the work. You can do the diet. If you get on stage and can't pose, forget it. You're literally <laughs> basically taking a present and just throwing it at somebody. You can't do that. Yeah. And and then, especially as females, then you got the the hair and the, the, yeah. <laughs> and everything and like the little like a little sass. And then now you're competing with all these other women. Now you have to bring something to the table they haven't seen. You have to make yourself stand out. I mean. I'm, I don't know if I'm fortunate because I had, like, I, my posing coach the first time, she goes, those aren't your eyes. And I was like, these are my eyes. I don't wear contacts. I don't wear glasses. Like, these are them. She goes, well, great. You're born with something people can see. Yeah. So, like, I was given some, like, I date basically death stared to judges the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, like, gave them every last ounce of my blue eyes that I could. And I'm like, look, here's me. Like, notice me. <laughs> And like trying, to, I'm doing that while posing mm -hmm. and trying not to pass out yep. <laughs> because you are depleted as shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're in a lineup with all these other women, and and then and then your pose might not exactly be what the girl next to you is doing, and you have to know, or at least if you have a coach, like I had a coach, we picked the sides that worked best for me. We picked the looks that looked best for me. We, you're, you're basically morphing yourself and pr pushing your image out to somebody else and cheat like you're presenting it that you're almost like false advertising you're hitting angles so they can see something that either you're hiding something or exposing something else um it's wild it's all like eye games and it's yeah. sick it's posing is hard Pose, posing is no joke but the one thing that did help is I pose in between my sets mm -hmm. 
all the time. I don't give a shit if people think I'm nuts. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, it, that, I mean, and that's, I mean, posing is one of those things, like I said, most people don't realize, but it's like, yeah, you have to flex, you know, basically everything. It has to be in tune. And a lot of people don't realize these bodybuilders get, they get a, sometimes more of a workout just posing than they do than their actual workouts just because of how tired it can make you. But what is your favorite pose to do? And what is your least favorite pose to do? My favorite pose, my, fa- my favorite pose is probably my back, my back lat spread. Just because when I do it, and especially because like I see my photos from stage and I had like this crazy, crazy quad sweep. Mm-hmm. And then with my back, like my shoulders are so in line with my quads and I'm very, I am tooting my own horn here, but I'm symmetrical, like real, I'm genetically symmetrical. Looking at her I, photos on Instagram, people, I can agree with that. So... Yeah, I'm very, very symmetrical. And so from the back, that was my favorite pose. Least favorite pose, my front pose. I just don't like it. I don't like how my chest separates. I don't, like, I my core gets lost, which I don't like. Um, Yeah, that's my that's my least favorite pose. But realistically, what, we got four poses in figure. Mm-hmm. That's really it. And we don't do the bikini, but thing so I couldn't I couldn't even tell you that mm-hmm. and then when I did my individual my individual might might be a very close second and I the shot didn't come out great like I didn't I didn't even know that I was getting photographed like my friends took them and sent them to me but the side my what side is it she likes my my right side yeah, she likes my right side because I don't have any tattoos on my right side, <laughs> so it doesn't hide anything. My whole left side is basically covered, but that's my my close second. And I think because it, it makes my shoulders look so broad and it makes my waist look so tiny, dead on, it looked really, like, it looks good from when I open up to the side. But other than that, no, definitely the back pose. <laughs> that's my favorite. 